Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In this video tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to configure card. So this is an example here, which I have designed. I'm going to go ahead and preview this in the browser. So I'll hit on F5 and then as you can see, this is my card. Now let's take a look at how to go about this from scratch using WYSIWYG Web Builder version 14. So I'm going to minimize this and then I'm going to get rid of everything in here. I'm going to come to my toolbox and then I'm going to find card. So I'm going to draw in here and by default I have a couple of content in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of everything in here. So let me just delete up everything and then hit an OK and as you can see we have a complete blank card here. Now let's get started. I'm going to start with my configuration. First on the list is going to be a header. So I'm going to select a header. And then I'm going to change the style for it. Now the style, I'm going to make the background color solid, which is um, the color is going to be something blue. Let me just um, come back here, change it from solid to rather to gradient. I'm going to make the color this blue. And then the gradient color is going to be this color in here. Now come to the pattern. And then I'm going to set the pattern to the top, which is going to be about 120 pixels. Now that is going to extend my header from the top a bit to this particular section let's just hit on ok ok and preview that so as you can see we have that in here next on the list is going to be an image i already have an image downloaded so i'm going to hit on add and then i'm going to select an image now i'm going to browse to select the image i'll be using so in my case this is the image i want to be using now i have to configure the image but before then let me just hit on ok okay and see how the image turns out this isn't something that we may probably want to leave it like this so we'll come back here and then let's see how best we can configure the image now i'm going to set the width to about 100 pixels the height is also going to be about 100 pixels and then this is going to be left on that in line that's the layout i'll leave it on inline and then i'll go ahead and set my border so i'm going to set a border color to about white and then the width is going to be let me just make it about three pixels i'm going to set a radius of 180 um, degrees in here or 180 pixels in here and then i'm going to go ahead to let me just um, go ahead and hit on ok and hit on ok and see that okay so as i can see my image looks a bit okay here now i'm not done yet i'm supposed to set a margin to my image so i'll come to the margin section and then now let's take a look at something interesting here when i set a margin of about 20 pixels and hit on ok and hit on ok this pushes my image to the bottom now this isn't what i may want to do so what i will have to do is rather do this the opposite way instead of setting this a positive figure i'm rather going to set a negative figure so i'm going to set this to about negative 50 pixels now go ahead and hit on ok and then hit on ok and as you can see this falls a bit on or within this particular um, background i have in here now i'm not done let's go ahead and then continue configuring our cut now the next thing i'm going to have on the list is going to be a test so i'll come to the add section and then i'm going to select test now the test what should i type in here so this is just going to be title or maybe cut title now i'm going to set the color of my test so the color is going to be um, let's just select something um, a bit darker so this is going to be okay i'll leave the size to about 14 pixels and then the margin so i'm going to change the margin to 20 left so this is going to be 20 i'm going to have 20 right and then i'm going to have 20 top i'm going to leave the button to zero i'll go ahead and hit an okay hit an okay and then let's see how that comes out so as you can see we have that in here now the next we are going to have is going to be a divider so i'm going to come to add and then i'm going to select a divider so this is a divider i'll go ahead and increase the weight to about one pixel and then i'm going to change the color for it so i'm going to select this color i have in here and then i'll come here and then change the alpha value to about let's say 202 so let me just decrease this a bit to about 202 pixels okay this is okay and then i'll go ahead and hit on okay so let me just hit on okay again as you can see we have that in here now i wouldn't want this to span 
entire width of my uh, cut here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back to my divider and then i'm going to set the margin so the margin to the left is going to be about let's say 30 pixels and then margin to the right is also going to be about 30 pixels i'll go ahead and hit an ok hit an ok and as you can see it has reduced a bit and i have to move it a bit away from my test here on my title so i'm going to come back here and then i'm going to set margin to the top as well so this is going to be about 20 pixels i'll go ahead and hit an ok and then hit an ok so as you can see we have that neatly done here next on the list is going to be at a test another test so i'll come to add section and then i'm going to select test now i'm going to copy and paste in the test i'll be using in here so this is just going to be a gibberish test i'll paste that here and then the font size is going to be 10 pixels now let me change the color to this dark black i have here and then let me go ahead and then um, hit on okay so let me just select okay and as you can see we have that here but this is also a bit closer to our divider so let's just go ahead and then move it some few pixels away from the top from our, the divider so i'll come to margin and then the top i'm going to make this about 20 pixels make it okay and select okay again i want to keep it some few pixels away from the edge of my cut so i'm going to come here let me just come to my text and then imagine from margin left i'll set this about let's just say 10 pixels this is also going to be 10 pixels and then i'll go ahead and hit an okay hit an okay as you can see let me just come back here and then to make sure i have that rightly done okay so i have that done now full weight i'm going to change this to four so that they, what i just said to take effect and then if i try to reduce the size of this it scales down a bit giving me some space in here now it seems i have too much space in here and here let's just go ahead and then reduce them a bit so the test i'm going to reduce the let's see let me just leave that okay let me just reduce this to about 50 pixels that's the uh, margin to the top and then okay let me come to the divider the margin to the top let me just make this about 15 or so and then i'll do same for the text so margin to the top should also be 15 to give me or reduce the spacing i have in there so what i'm going to continue next is i'm going to bring some kind of icons in here now when i double click on this and i come to add as you can see i don't have icons when i click on image this is going to open up an image for me and then when i click on footer this is just going to create a footer section that isn't what i want now what i'll be using here is going to be a button yes you head right i'll be using a button now when you open a button these are the options it comes with i can either enter a test or can I, I can use an icon now instead of using a text i'm going to use an icon now when i come to the icon section I'm going to locate Facebook, so I'll be using a Facebook icon. I'll go ahead and hit an OK. Now I can go ahead and change the size of the icon. How do I do that? I come to the style section and where I have the text. So this is seven as the icon is seven as a text. I'm going to change the size to about 20 pixels and then I'm going to change the color of it to let's just say this dark blue I have in here. Let's just hit on OK and then see how that turns out. So as you can see we have our facebook icon here now let me just go ahead and double click on this and then come to my icon and then change the pattern of it so i'll come to the pattern section now the pattern top is going to be about 10 pixels and then i'll go ahead and hit an ok hit an ok so that's create some kind of space in, in here i'm going to add two more icons so let me come back here come to add add a button and then i'm going to add an icon so this is going to be a twitter icon so i'll click on this and then hit an ok and then i'll change the color and then size of it so the size is going to be 20 pixels and then the color is going to be this light blue i have in here and then i'll create that is my pattern from the top which is going to be 10 pixels and then watch something when i hit an ok and hit an ok now there isn't much space in between here so what i can do is to come back here come to the twitter section and then the pattern i'm going to set 10 pixels to the left and this is going to create some spacing in between them so as you can see that's here i'll go ahead and add one more button so i'll come here select button and then i'll come to my icon section and then i'm going to select maybe linkedin and then i'll select this one i'll go ahead and hit on ok and then i'm going to come to the style section i'm going to change the size of it to 20 pixels 
and then I'm going to change the color to let's just say this dark gray here I'll go ahead and hit an OK and let me just come back here change the pattern of it so pattern to the top is going to be 10 and then to the left is also going to be 10 I hit an OK and then hit an OK and then as you can see I have my icons neatly arranged here now to create a link with these icons all I have to do is to just come back to my icons and then where I have link to I just select where I want to link it to so this is Facebook which is going to be linked to facebook.com I'll hit on OK and then I'll come to the next one which is going to be Twitter so this is going to be linked to twitter.com and then the last one which is linked in which is also going to link to linkedin.com so then I'll go ahead and hit an OK so I'll go ahead and hit an OK again now let's go ahead and preview this in our browser and see how that is going to turn out so I'm going to preview this and as you can see I have my card neatly um, configured here when I hover over this this is going to be linked to Facebook this is going to link to Twitter and then this is going to be linked to LinkedIn now let's go ahead and set one more property to our card that is going to be a box shadow so I'm going to come back to my application and then I'll double click on my card now come to the box shadow section and then I'm going to set the blur to about 4 pixels. Now offset X is also going to be 1 pixel and then offset Y is going to be 1 pixel. Now I'm going to change the color in here to something a bit darker. So I'm going to keep to let's say this. Let me just change this to something much more darker. And then the type is going to be outset. So I'll leave that and then I'll go ahead and hit an OK. So as you can see, I have some beautiful box shadow in here. Now let's go ahead and preview this once more. So that is it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.